Hey, good morning to you. Yeah, we're learning the latest information about what caused all of this. Again, southbound express lanes of I-5 are blocked because of this. Look at this mess that has been left behind. State troopers on the scene telling me this semi slammed into the left side barrier, then swung over across the roadway and then caught on fire. There were some signs up above this concrete barrier here that are completely burned out. So really, I'm smelling the scent of just burning rubber here. It's quite the scene that it's going to take some time to clean up. Uh, we do have Sky King up above that can show us what this traffic backup is really looking like because it is going to be a mess. Troopers on the scene telling me it could take up to two to three hours to open this roadway back up. So prepare yourselves and plan accordingly. But again, back out here live the scene. It is very extensive um, and it's going to take some time to clean up. Just avoid this area if you can. Troopers also telling me speed likely a factor in causing this crash, but the good news, the driver made it out safely and is okay. For now, I'll send it back to you guys in the studio. Hey, Britt, before you go, I'm just trying to look behind you. Is that um, a part of the load that the truck was carrying that is on the street? Uh, just looking behind you, trying to figure out what we're looking at. And if that load may have been okay, perhaps well slammable. Right. Well, from what I was told from a state trooper here, the load was relatively empty. So that's the good news. It's not going to take much time to clean up anything that may have been inside of the trailer. That is just uh, the cabin bed here that is all burn up and charred. So that's where the driver was and the driver made it out safely, which is pretty remarkable. Just looking at the amount of damage that was left behind. All right. Thank you, Britt. I know you'll be on top of it for us this morning um, and hopefully drivers will be prepared as they try to avoid that area. Thank you, Britt.